group from the mayor's office. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We um, we actually really feel like there's a couple of key individuals from the community that have been really the drivers and the organizers behind this, and they're calling up the mayor's office and they said, um, please ask us uh, to help, and we said, sure. How can how can we help make it uh, facilitate it where where this works and it's as powerful as it can be? And they put out the call and they set up the registration site and. Um, we've had over uh, a thousand people turn out today so far. We were hoping for 300, so the response has been phenomenal. That sounds so awesome. I've heard, yeah, oh, it's like a thousand, I heard, over yeah. a thousand. Yeah, so over that's, a thousand. That yeah. must be uh, challenging to coordinate. Uh, with the volunteers yeah. it is but at the same time I think the, the key thing is the volunteers are getting a safety briefing and they're also understanding that and we're I think everyone's coming with the understanding that we're not here to um, there's no we didn't plan this <laughs> yeah. so it, it's a little bit chaotic but um, at some times but that's because everything's uh, transitioning right now and people um, are just having patients who are volunteers so it's it's been great um, we've literally had people as you can see um, stores come by and they're dropping off bleach and um, cleaning supplies and we had a construction company come and drop off boxes of tarps and um, bags and we say okay well we just got this resource does anybody have a truck and here's a, a couple of addresses that need to go deliver it and everyone's been amazing they're just like I can go do that and it's it's you know um, it's just a symbol of how right. much community spirit there is where right. people say there's a need and I'll fill it it's I'm so be. touched talking to everyone today and everyone seems to be very helpful friendly and it's a Thai community I see and and uh, we're gonna get this done very quickly yes yes, <laughs> yes. I think um, the the survivors of the flood are, are I I've, they've been calling me saying I'm blown away I thought it was gonna take me a month to clean out my house and it's already cleaned out in one day because of all the volunteers that are here so um, the power of, of all of the work and the spirit that everyone has and it, it is unfortunate that we're not at the other two flooded locations at the Rock Springs site or the mobile home park, but that's just because um, the mandatory evacuations haven't been lifted yet. They should be lifted tomorrow, and we're going to be having volunteers come back tomorrow and then okay. deploying people right. out there. So we're going to put the same amount of love there that we've been putting here. Thank you. Paul from you. Uh, Mayor of Licardo, right? Yes, Paul with the Mayor of Licardo's office. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time and Thank you. big volunteer today. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thanks. Be right back. Hi, we are here at the 21st Street, close to downtown San Jose, at the Roosevelt Community Center, where thousands volunteered today, helping the flood, Coyote Creek flood cleanup. Thousands of volunteers helping, uh, getting the furniture out of the homes, carpets torn out, talking to residents. A catastrophe of four feet of water high, damaging a lot of damage has been done. And we are some are staying with relatives, some are staying at the home, and continue to see more and more people coming to help. And if you can't help, volunteer your time, you can donate to Silicon Valley CF.org or to the Red Cross. <laughs>